There is a hit television series called This Is Us. You all familiar with that? It's a hit, hit series called This Is Us. Some people are clapping. They're so excited about it. And so in this particular setting, he reveals to the, for the first time to his mother and to his siblings that he always felt that Randall, his adopted brother, was mom's favorite. He grew up feeling like Randall was mom's favorite. He felt like the sister was dad's favorite. Randall was mom's favorite. And I'm just tagging along. Nobody loves me. Nobody cares about me. And what was interesting in this was that he continued to push his mom. He wanted her to just admit that you love Kat. Just admit that you love Randall Moore. Just admit that you love Randall Moore. And then what struck me in this particular clip was when she said he was just easier. Those of us who have multiple children, don't even, just look at your lap. Just look down at your lap. <laughs> Just look down at your lap. Look straight ahead. Don't, don't, don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. But you probably share the testimony that some of them are just easier. Some of them are just more cooperative. Some of them are just more trustworthy. Others of them are going to find trouble. Find trouble, find mischief, find mess, find problem, stir up crap. Some of them are just that way, right? But others are just easier. And so it's not that you love one more than you love the other. But some of them, you can trust them with the car at an earlier age than others. You might have one that you could, you could get them their license when they were 16 and trust them to do everything that they were supposed to do. But the other one, you had to wait till they were 18 because if you gave them the license, they were going to be in Vegas that next week. <laughs> so she points out that it was just easier. And when we look at ourselves and we look at our state with God and we wonder, sometimes we wonder secretly in the church because we don't want people to think that We got issues with God. But in the church, sometimes we look around and we say, well, why does this one get blessed? And why does that one get blessed? And I go to church and I faithfully serve God and I sing in the choir and I usher on the usher board and I'm committed to prayer and I'm here every time the church is open. And it seems like God is just blessing those others a lot more than it seems like he's blessing me. And some of us have that question that that, uh, uh, Kevin had and some of us have those issues that Kevin had, but we would never let anyone know that because we don't want them to think that we we got a problem with God and that we're unholy. But the response to God is the same response. The response of God is the same response of mom here, which is sometimes it's just easier. Sometimes that person will walk by faith when I won't. Sometimes that that person will trust my word when I don't trust his word. Sometimes that person will obey my word. It's just easier when the person will obey me. It's just easier when I tell the person to stop sinning, they'll stop sinning so they can pursue my blessing. It's just easier if I tell them to walk in forgiveness and they will walk in forgiveness, whereas somebody else wants to hold on to their unforgiveness and keep somebody in hostage and be mad and upset and frustrated all their life. God says it's just easier to favor some more than others because the former are walking by faith while the latter are not. God wants his people to walk by faith. 